It can't really see in the daytime. So I can do a little bit of moving around because his sight is so bad. And he can't see me. He's looking. He's got a smell for them. He's gotten bigger. I think he's three now. Or at least this is his third summer. He lives under the deck with his family, and I think his family are smart enough not to come out during the day. What's he doing looking under the deck, under there? Is he going to try and get under there? Naturally, his name is Rocky. Hello, Rocky. You don't want to be on my couch. There's nothing up there, see? It just smells like couch. give him a knife, he could use a knife, that would be easier. But his toenails are probably pretty long. He's cleaning out between the boards. Funny how their their bottom jaw is so far um, underbite. They have to lay their face down to get things. I don't understand why. So they can eat best on something that's on a cone-shaped pile. I suppose he can smell this food for the animals, for the birds. He used to come and eat right beside my feet when he was a baby. There were three of them, and there were two of them, and I'm not sure who of them he is. There are some bugs on this window. So he can completely balance on his back feet. His center of gravity is his back feet. He can sit up completely just with his tail and his back feet.
This is Rocky. Hello, Rocky Raccoon. Rocky One. It's a raccoon crossing. He's finding things. I guess he's going to find everything that the birds have dropped from there. Now, of course, if I go outside, he will immediately run under the deck. Because that is home. Home, sweet home. See how he balances on his back legs? The front legs do almost nothing. Probably smelling the compost out there. Probably already has cleaned it up. I think everything smells more when it's wet. I wonder if he's interested in these oranges. possible. I have them. I wonder if he'll try and climb that pole to get it down and break the pole off or tip it over. Hard to know, isn't it? Okay. I need to sit down.
So it appears to me that he's blind in one eye. Did you see that? Did you see his one eye was not looking right? Mm. Oh, feels good to sit down. I worked hard today. I was really doing a lot out there. Remember what we did? Let's see, what did we do? We brought the railings for the deck up onto the deck, and we brought a new board for finishing the top of it over there. There for the, you know, for the stairs. I don't want the bugs getting in here. to rewind it and see what it says before or what is you know see the part a little while ago you can do it at like three times the speed as there's not a lot going on here sometimes <laughs> so what was I going to tell you I did the railings and then I um oh, I worked on that garden bed and then I found that the boards that were laying there on the ground were 12 feet long. So I could I could replace all those with 12 foot boards. So I took 12 foot boards out there, but my back hurt by then. I didn't really want to bend down and unscrew things. But I did have enough energy to move the whole pile. Oh, cool. You watch the whole other thing, Susan. You're so sweet. So um, I... I got the rake and I raked all that bark out of the way and I brought the, the, the container down and put it beside it and then I put all the bark in the container and I put the soil that was there next to the, next to the ramp. I put that all onto the compost pile which is just a little further in and then I moved all the pile of, lo of boards that was beside the trailer that were on the ground. I put them all, sorted them out, I put three um, sawhorses. I went over to the other place and got two more sawhorses. I stacked all the wood up and I tidied the whole area up and I found a couple more long boards for another deck or for another bed, garden bed, so I put them out on it and another post for in the middle. Put that out there. And then it started to, oh yeah, it started to sleet or rain. It was ice pellets, little tiny squares of ice. I didn't think it was that cold. <sighs> oh, whatever. And um, and then I found the hook for the trampoline. I found the hook, and I went back out, and I took all half of the net off. I, I had to unloosen each spring and then unravel or, you know, slip the hook through the screen, the loop in the screen. I did that, and and I got halfway, and then it started to rain again, or snow again, or sleet. What is that? Ice pellets. <sighs> in the forty years I've forty five years I've lived in Canada, I've never had sleet. How many years have I lived here? Seventy six. I came. No, seventy seven. No, 1976, 1977, I think. And then I, um, so 1977, and this is 22, 78, 79, 80, 81, five years. So I've lived here 45 years. There you go. I just had to figure that out. And in the 45 years I've lived here, we've never had sleet. Maybe it's just not a term that Canadian meteorologists use. I have a book on weather. Oh, I could look at it. But I really don't feel like it. My back is still in a lot of pain. Is she out there again? Not yet. He has to count his moments. Something seems to be wrong with one of his eyes. It's What's really something? 
45 years and we don't have sleet. Or maybe they don't call it sleet. They call that ice pellets. And then there's freezing rain. And we never have, we may have freezing rain turning to ice pellets. Or ice pellets turning to freezing rain. But we don't have sleet. So what is sleet? Is that rain mixed with freezing rain? They would just say rain, rain turning to freezing rain. Because it's when it comes, if it's freezing rain, it all freezes when it hits. You don't have some that's water and some that's ice. Anyway, these are just my ponderings of the moment. So I'm just having a quiet little day. I'm listening to, I'm watching Castle. And playing a bit of Minecraft. So that is sleet. All right. So that's why. Do you have freezing rain? Do they call it freezing rain? Or ice pellets? <sighs> Excuse me. Well, I guess I'm too tired to talk on here. What time is it? Oh, look. It's. What time is it? That says it's 20 to 6. But it's not, is it? What time is it? You call it sleet. Okay, then. Oh, yes, it's 25 after 5 on this clock and 25 to 5 on that clock. No, it's 25 after 6 on my watch, and it's 22 till 5 on that clock. So the clock we already know is an hour off. I should just put it ahead. Wouldn't that be cool not to have to figure it out every time I look at it and think, okay, now what is it really? Plus, my watch does not keep proper time. So it's very possible it is actually 22 minutes to... instead of 26 after. So what time is it over there? Now we're getting into the good stuff. to play my violin again. <sighs> what should I do? Oh, I was going to start. I was going to work on my loom. I've been weaving a little bit. I have this nice big heap of fabric. I mean, not fabric. What is it called? Fleece. I have a nice big pile of fleece ready to go onto the loom. It's 528. Okay, so my clock is better time. My watch is better than that clock. So 528. Six. So it's 6. Willem? Yeah. What time is it on your laptop? Um, 6.28. Oh, so we don't have very big of a lag. 6.28. Let's fix it now while we can. See, here it is. Six twenty-eight, but the twenty-eight stays the same. Okay, then. All right, and we'll fix this as well. Oh, this is pretty good. We're good. Here we go. Here we go again. Off down the road again, singing and dreaming. Oh, I feel like I've been singing and dreaming. Oh, I feel like I could fly. See how slow he goes. You seen them run? They look kind of funny when they run. Oh, well, we'll leave them be. Hurts my back too much to sit and watch them. You like my violin playing? All right. We'll play the violin. Because I like playing the violin best. Oops. All right. Let's see if it's still in tune.
I'll try and play Here We Go Again, Off Down the Road Again, Singing and Dreaming. I feel like I've been singing and dreaming. Oh, I feel like I could fly. All right, let's see what we can do with this now. Willem? Yeah? Is this in tune? Would you like to come and tune it? Yeah, okay. You are my hero, Willem. You're always my hero. You rescue me from everything I get myself into. Good enough. Thank you, Mom. Okay, then. Does it go? Here we go again. Here we go again. again. Sing it, sing it, sing it. I can't do it, it's too loud. We gotta go up another string. Okay, we'll scrap that song. I don't have the notes somewhere, and my Google thing isn't working because it's not in here. It's not plugged in is actually what the problem is. What if I were to plug it in? <laughs> here we go again, off down the road again, singing and dreaming. Oh, I feel like I've been singing and dreaming. Oh well, so we don't have that one to sing. So what else should we play? How about a Beatles one? Eleanor Rigby. Eleanor Rigby. That's too many flats and sharps. Nope, that whole thing will just mess up my brain. Okay, what's the next one? How about Let It Be? Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom. La, la, la. Okay, another one. How about Yellow Submarine? How does it go? Yellow Sub... 
Yellow submarine, a yellow submarine. We either. <laughs> All right, what's another one? Imagine. the song go imagine all the people living life for today in peace oh you may say I'm a dreamer but I'm not the only one how about I want to hold your hand let's go to something easy she loves you yet she loves you Okay, that won't work either. <laughs> What's another one I can do? What's another one I know? I thought I knew a lot of Beatles songs. All right, how about, this is very funny. Um, <clears throat> you can see I've been watching too much Castle. Broke my brain. Hey, what's that one about? I just dropped in to see what condition my condition was in. I used to love that when I was a teenager. Yeah, it doesn't have any regular notes either. I just dropped in to see what my condition was. Hey, you remember that one about... Um, skip a beat or skip a skip a rope or something. How did that one go? Oh wait a minute, we're running just as fast as we can, holding on to one another's hand, trying to get away into the night until you put your arms around me and we stumble to the ground and then you say, I think we're alone now. There doesn't seem to be any. It sounds like. The kids are in the house and we've escaped. <laughs> that wasn't skip a rope though, was it? That was a different one. Um, wait a minute.
always fun trying to pick out a song that you sort of remember but not quite completely. But trying to find the notes on here in the order that they're on there without running into flats and sharps. So you have to be in the same key that you want to sing it in. But actually you have to be in a key that is that's easy. If you want if you end up with a key like B flat or something, you're gonna have all sharps and flats or whatever it is all the way through. And it'll be so difficult to figure out when you're in tune and when you're not and where the notes are. Trust me. <laughs> Once I had Willem or no, I went through the whole hymn book and you could you could go into the into hymns on the computer on the yeah on the internet. You go into hymns and you could go into the score or notation or whatever it's called, and then you could change it to be in what is this F sharp? Is that what this is? It's an F sharp, or is it a B? Flat? I don't know what the name of it is, but anyway, so you could put it so it's got one one sharp on the third string from the bottom. That's B sharp. I'll try and play something else. Sorry, you just got to reconnect. I don't know why. I don't know why you swallow a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There's something wrong with this. I think it might have not stayed the way he put it. I have to put some rosin on it. Luckily, I have a chunk. <laughs> I love this rosin. You know where it came from, eh? A tree. I found a pine tree. In fact, there's a video of it. Yep, there's a video. I went and harvested the pine sap off of a tree. It was the white stuff coming out where I had cut a branch off. And I just scraped it all into my um, little tin can. I brought it home, put the tin can on the stove, and warmed it up, melted it all. Uh-oh. <laughs> now it's a smaller piece. 
I'll have to go back to the tree. Actually, I have another piece in here too, I think. Yep. Well, now I have an extra piece. <laughs> Four pieces, actually. That was my grandfather's clock. So how about something up, upbeat and lively? Like, it's a rainy, gloomy day, but let's sing about there's sunshine. There's one I really like about when you're smiling, everything is good, and when you're frowning, everything goes wrong. How does that one go? The smile. I forget. I've got a terrible memory. It's old timers, I guess. We didn't wash this window yet. Nothing was ever wrong. That paint is really peeling up on this deck. That must really be sad for Willem. I mean, he really spent a lot of time making sure that he did that when it wasn't too old yet. I thought he started way too early, but he it worked. He was still doing it at the very end. Okay, so that I was doing La Cucaracha. <laughs> to know the tune. Hey, I could play hymns again. I like these hymns. They're my favorite. Okay. Come, O thou King of Kings, we've waited long for thee, with healing in thy wings to set thy people free. Come now, desire of nations, come, let Israel now be gathered home. Okay. didn't work out too badly, did it? Now, what's this one? Oh, this is all men's choir stuff. An angel from on high, the long, long silence broke. Descending from the sky, these gracious words he spoke. Lo, in Kimura's lonely hill, a sacred record lies concealed. Ha, I got him before he got my filled things with moss. Sacred record lies concealed. Lo, in Kimura's lonely hill, a sacred record lies concealed. Sealed by Moroni's hand, it has for ages lain to wait the Lord's command from dust to speak again. It shall again to light come forth to usher in Christ's reign on earth. It shall again to light come forth to usher in Christ's reign on earth. It speaks of Joseph's seed and makes the remnant known of nations long since dead who once had dwelt alone. The fullness of the gospel too its pages will reveal to view. The fullness of the gospel too its pages will reveal to view. And in This is not in, this is the wrong one. This is in the bass and treble. No, I'll have 
have to do that in the regular one. And I'll have to look at the notes for that one. Oh, we could do Oh, Rise Up, O Men of God again. I love that one. it's under my chair that's making that noise. Okay, I think I'm done with this. <clears throat> I have a problem with my wrist today. 
it's in a lot of pain. Probably because of all those boards I moved and raking all those bark. But you know, this is going to be my life for the next two years. Yeah. Anyway. Not two years. Oh, I see what's wrong. This is sticking out. So I think it's goodbye. It's been fun. Keep your stick on the ice. And if you wonder what that's all about, look up Red Green Show on YouTube. <laughs> it's great. Okay, see ya. Bye.